Hey guys, what's up? It's Pseudo Pluto here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, install Minecraft on Linux uh, using Flatpak, and then how to install the Fabric Launcher and some mods. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, first things first, install Flathub, and then download Minecraft from Flathub. And as you can see, we already have it installed. And then, so when we type in Minecraft now, we have it here and the, the official launcher loads up. Um, and so you should be able to, to do this pretty easily if you already have Flathub and Flatpak, everything uh, installed correctly, and you just go through the steps. And the interesting part is where Fabric comes in. So Fabric is a Minecraft mod API, similar to Forge. And um, I like some of the mods that uh, come with Fabric, such as um, sodium and phosphor and all the other uh, performance mods for minecraft so i'll show you how to get that set up um, so what you need to do first is go into your terminal and the main thing here is that um, for ease of use we want to make a symbolic link from the minecraft flat pack to our home directory and a dom minecraft directory um, so as you can see i already have it here um, dot minecraft and it's a symbolic link if we do ls dot minecraft we can see we have everything here but this is actually a pointer to the actual minecraft flatback location and the way that we do this is ln dash this uh, we use this command and I'll put in the video description basically this makes a symbolic link from the flat pat from the flat packs uh, dot minecraft location to our home directory and so when we cd into dot minecraft uh, we can see um, we have the mods directory that you just make using mkdir mod mods and then when we go into the mods directory we can see that we have our fabric api our um, lithium our phosphor and our sodium uh, mods for minecraft and those are our performance mods and so the only thing left to do is to actually install the the fabric launcher um, and the way to do that is, let's go back to our home directory. You should have it downloaded. You just do java-jar, um, and I have it in downloads, and it should be fabric installer. Um, and so this is the installer for the official launcher for Minecraft. And so when you hit enter, it'll take a little while to load. And here, now you have Minecraft version, uh, loader version, select install location, create profile, and you just hit the install button. I already have installed, um, so I don't really need to do anything. But the gist is that uh, we want to make sure that we have that symbolic link um, before we run the installer. Otherwise, you'll get an error saying uh, there's nothing in .minecraft. And the file, the file browser that's bundled with installer can't really use hidden directories. Um, so you can't really go into the um, .var uh, flat pack uh, org minecraft directory uh, so the easiest way is just to do a symbolic link into the directory that's looking for the dot minecraft in the home and uh, there you go and just to show you that everything's working correctly we're going to play using fabric loader and yeah it'll load up do 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 And we have our Mojang Studios. And yeah, we can um, we can see that we have Minecraft 1.19 Fabric modded. Um, if you go to Options and Video, we see that we have all the Sodium settings. Um, so we know that everything is installed correctly. And when we go into our world, um, we can we can see that everything. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, where's our Minecraft? There we go.
and boom, we're in the game. And um, wow, we have really bad FPS. I have to tweak uh, OBS recording and uh, Minecraft. But as you can see, everything's working. Um, and the performance is a lot better when I'm not recording my screen. Um, so yeah. So hopefully you found this useful. Um, uh, there's a lot more uh, mods that you can install using Fabric. And so the only real trick here is to do that symbolic link. So you can just follow the steps for installing uh, the Fabric Launcher. But yeah, um, this is Pseudo Pluto out. Hope you had a good day.